So Madison is here. United. We went Cheers to our uh, our favorite coffee stop first. We're gonna have a couple days to a week of three people and one dog in a small trailer. The struggle of finding water can be very hard sometimes. So we actually drove around in our truck the other day and looked for who had a water spigot. Our tongue jack broke. You don't need to tell us it's a sketchy. We know it's sketchy. And goodbye. So that is what we will be scaling on. I'm so proud of you, Madison. So we're over here. We're not hooked into any harnesses. Just walking along, <laughs> nice and steady. She is going first around the corner. Lots of exposure down. Sorry, Dad. I hope I don't give you any nightmares. You're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I, I thought. I forgot the drone. <laughs> it's a great time to have an argument. <laughs> we are Natalie, TJ, and the bold and brave camo dog. Three adventurers from Colorado who are on a mission to unearth this country's beauty as we travel in our towable home. We spent the last year navigating and exploring the Atlantic and Caribbean oceans, but now we are shifting gears to life on the road. Welcome to Adventures of a Lifetime. So we are over at the wastewater treatment plant. You just missed an incredible back end. I know, I should have reported that. You, you smidged me between two big trucks and just, it was perfect. It was. It was just just perfect. we are getting very good at this i agree no that was on you i didn't do really anything oh there. thanks oh, I, my directions are getting better they are good Ooh. Ooh. oh my gosh <laughs> tj black is done flush is done gray is done thank you for doing that tj much appreciated yeah you're welcome and now it's our time to go get our water so both of the ends of the hose get a little black cap on them and then you go... fold up the poop accordion. <laughs> wow. Wonderful like... back there. Perfect. Yeah, that is. Okay, so the struggle of finding water can be very hard sometimes. Sometimes it's super easy, sometimes it's hard. There was no water we could find in Telluride, like on the apps, like where to go and get it. So we actually drove around in our truck the other day and looked for who had a water spigot <laughs> outside. Um, there's an auto shop here in Telluride who did, and we actually gave them a call and asked if we could fill up our tanks, and they told us that we could. So we are here at the auto shop filling up our water tanks. Perfect. <laughs> so we have finished filling up our water tanks. So we have 60 gallons of fresh water, which is a beautiful thing. And now we are over getting coffee at a coffee shop. So the nice thing that we love about the size of our rig is how maneuverable it is and how small it is. Like we're driving around Telluride and we can we can go into tighter places and get things we want to get and we don't have to unhook. So we just got to get a little bit creative. I am not a raincoat. Oh, hi boys. I think he likes the spot. Go back in the hi, Sushi. After the storm, I'm not a match simply waiting. Burn. All I am is a friend, your friend to the end. Okay, so today has been quite a day. This week and a half been quite a week and a half. Yes, um, our jack broke for our, our tongue jack broke. So here it is. The gears in there don't turn. So it's this part up here. If you turn it under load, what does it do? It just, it just grinds. It, just it doesn't, past each other. nothing happens. And the closest place to having the, the replacement tongue jack is like an hour and a half away. And we're just not gonna do that. So we ordered one on Amazon that will get here on Thursday. Um, but for now, we've asked the Facebook group if we can use our car jack to lift up the tongue. And we're gonna go run our errands and hopefully it's still standing when we come back. Yes, we're going, so we have removed our tongue jack. Now we have our new truck jack over here on our bucket. If we have space, we're gonna try to do that jack and this, but we'll see, it might just be this one. And then also we'll, we'll put our all of our stabilizers down as well and our wheels are chalked. And- Here we go. We're gonna hope it works. So TJ has the whole thing out. 
this nice long spinning mechanism. It's so loud. Oh, that was scary. That was a lot more of a shock than I wanted. Okay, I'm gonna go push truck forward. Holy crap. Yeah. Trailer is still standing. We're just gonna leave it at this height, right? Yeah. And then we'll put our stabilizers back down. Yeah. And honestly, between the two of these, we might not need to uh, hook it back up again. Hook it back up again. You don't need to tell us it's sketchy. We know it's sketchy. Yeah. We're well aware that it's sketchy. We're well aware that it's probably not the best idea we've ever had, but it's a good idea. It's a fine idea. We're we're here still. We almost rolled away, but we didn't. Yeah, that was that was a thud. I watched it just Boom. back on that track. Good thing get over there. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna tighten these bolts up a little bit more. We have our four stabilizers, which are all rated for 2,500 pounds. Yep. And so that's right there is 10,000 pounds for the stabilizers. And this stabilizer, I think, can lift between three and 5,000 pounds. I think that's what I read online. I could have found a definite answer and there was no number on this stabilizer. And I've read that you want to find a tongue jack that's one tenth of the total weight of your trailer fully loaded. So 10% of 5,000. Which we're not even at 5,000. No. And we've got two of them. Yeah, 10% of 5,000 is what, 500? Yeah, I don't know, you can't test me with math. <laughs> <laughs> but we're plenty fine, I, I think. think. we're good. So we might just stay on this for a few days and we should be good to go. All right. Oh my God, that tire over there. You wanna go test it out? You wanna go inside and jump around? No, okay. Let's go run some errands okay. before it gets too late. Okay. Got a nice view out there? It's so incredible. So we are enjoying this gorgeous, gorgeous rainy day. And we have both the cameras going. We're doing some time lapse because all the clouds keep like coming in and out of frame and it is just phenomenally gorgeous. Woo! Campbell wants to go outside. Go ahead, you can go outside now. This is crazy. We have our new little video camera that we got. I, this is gonna look so stunning. <laughs> Feels like we're like in Switzerland and just like up in the mountains. I think we're probably at around 11,000, maybe close to 12,000 feet. We're up here pretty high. So we are just enjoying this beautiful rainy day. And just for all of the, uh, Walmart parking lots and Sam's clubs and truck stops that we sleep at. This right here is what made us want to to pursue this life. Just made us some nice warm chicken noodle soup. It is steaming. And just look at that. Looks like we're in a different country. Some pretty good uh, restaurant views. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like trying to warm up from being outside out there taking photos. I'm like cold and shivering, and you won't let me shower because we're on limited water supply. <laughs> <laughs> well, just drink so, your nice warm soup and it should warm you all the way up. I'm trying, but the windows are open okay, for the I'm, photos I'm gonna, in here. I'm gonna close the window. I just had a... How can I... That's just so beautiful. I know. I understand. Just look at that view. This is when unbelievable. I have this screen, it's not as pretty. Like, look at that. That's a screen. And that's the window open. This is unbelievable. Okay, the cloud is still coming around more. We are fully in this cloud now. It's all the way across parking lot, the whole camping area. So we can get a little closer now. Let's hear what's on your mind. Cause all this time I've been wondering. Are you has the new hitch arrived, TJ? It's, it's here. <laughs> so we are taking out the old hitch. Tongue jack. 
I'm Jack, thank you. I keep calling it a hitch. <laughs> Every single time I call it a hitch. Here's our new fancy tongue jack. Power tongue jack. Woo! <laughs> See how it goes. Hopefully this goes in install super easily. You might have to hook the, the truck back up to the trailer to lift it up, to get that off, to get the new one in and center on the bucket. But <laughs> after all of that, it's the last time. It should be the last time we just flutz around with this. Okay. And goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> See, we have the uh, the triangle ones. There's like circular ones, there's square ones, there's triangle ones. So if you're gonna replace it, make sure you know which one you have. And the measurement on top, two and a quarter is the standard. But I guess it could vary. So you measure. Oh, is it gonna fit? <laughs> Perfect. Yes. So exciting! <laughs> Put our uh, our bolts back in there, tighten them on up, and then I guess this power cord plugs into either. I think we can wire it into our battery. Okay, so how's it going? Uh, good. You got this battery cover off. <laughs> this thing, getting this thing off, just took like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so now he is taking off. What are you doing? I don't know, electrical things. Uh, removing one of the power cords so I can attach the power cord. What are you gonna attach it to? We don't See, have See, that's little... what they had on that one. They didn't give us that. Do we have any? No. Okay, so the neighbors did not have what we needed, so TJ is trying to jerry-rig something over here. Temporarily. This looks very safe, honey. Yeah, that works. And then I need that nut. TJ. Concentration. It looks like it's barely in there. <laughs> Should work though. Fire in the hole. It's going. Heck yeah. Okay, cool. So now we have to figure out what we're going to do for the rest of this thing. So we're going to reattach to the truck. Quickly crank the jack back up, move the truck in, put it down on the truck, get rid of the get rid of the jack, put the tongue jack down, and call it a day. Oh my gosh. Hey. This is our day's activity, everyone. Hey, at least it's here. Uh, thank God it's here. This is the last time <laughs> this will have to do this. Hopefully ever. You have like a foot and I think it's maybe too high still. Is that an okay spot? Yeah. I mean, if it falls, it's still gonna... It's okay. Just let's it go when it's raining. It's really coming down. Oh no! <laughs> TJ! <laughs> How is this my fault? Can you just go sit in the car for a minute? Was it there? I don't know. Is it there if I'm on it? Yeah, uh... Yeah, I think so. I don't want to get wet. I don't think this is safe for this to be fully extended. I hear what you're saying, but we don't really have another option. Okay, do you want to stand on the truck and have me back it up? Is that what you want to do? I think we're there. Yeah, I'll go get Christian too. Okay. Don't knock it over. Go very slow. Christian! Very slow, TJ. Put the parking brake on. Thankfully the rain stopped as well, so we didn't get drenched. A little camping neighbors over here helped us out, weighing down the truck. They're great. They are great. Tree stump is out of commission. We're in home stretch. We are. TJ, bring it back up. So we forgot to move this back up and out of the way so the ball couldn't slide onto it. Yes. Are we ready? Good to put it down. That goes very slowly. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait. I'll go get on the truck now. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how you you get the ball off the hitch. If it won't come out, you just you just jump on your truck. Okay. You are clear. Okay, how about you stand and I'll drive it forward, okay? Yep. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. We have a, a tongue jack again. We have a power tongue jack, wow. <laughs> so I can get weak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back and recrank all of our stabilizers before this rainstorm comes in, because this is definitely on the way. And then we'll be 
all set. I'll crank. You can go inside. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's so sweet of you. Our first guest of the RV is about to arrive. My sister Madison is flying in from California and gets to fly into the Telluride Airport, which honestly, TJ and I are very jealous of. The flight in looks incredible. We arrived just in time to watch her land, and now our camper is about to get a little bit more crowded for the next few days while she's here with us. Just waiting for Madison. Oh, look who's here. <gasps> who's here? Is that Madison? <laughs> so Madison is here. Reunited. We went Cheers, to our uh, our favorite coffee stop first. Now we're gonna mm. we're gonna have a couple days to a week of three people and one dog in a small trailer. <laughs> Wait till you see this, Madison. We might be in for a little bit of a surprise <laughs> yeah, here. Never seen it yet. <laughs> Madison, you're gonna see our our home for the it? first time. This is it. Wow! Look at that thing. <laughs> look at our driveway. Wow. <laughs> Not a bad view. Okay, are you ready to see the inside? See it. Are you nervous? No, let's see it. Okay, hold on. Don't Close look. your eyes, don't look yet. I'm gonna get inside. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this is so cute. Yeah, so are these your real thoughts? It's huge, right? <laughs> it's spacious. It's really, it's all you really need, I guess. You know? <laughs> I'm serious. Are you surprised? No, I, it looks pretty accurate to the photos you sent me, I feel like, you know? Yeah. So that's our bed over there. Here's I our kitchen that. area. I noticed that too. We have a little dinner table, what dinette area. Okay, I'll get you some water. Yeah, the views are incredible. And then I'll swap with you. You can go look at our little bathroom that you're gonna be using. Go ahead. Oh, we have a roadblock. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> we just collected some water outside. We're using it to flush the toilet. Very oh, nice. Well, here I am. You're here. Welcome to Telluride. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So we are up. It is 7.45 right now. We are on our way to go climb the Via Ferrata. Woo! It's chilly outside. I don't know what the temperature is, but it seems like it's in the like 50s, 60s maybe. It's chilly. Um, and it's me, Madison's first time climbing a Via Ferrata. I know, I'm a little nervous. Are you? We're gonna try to do it. <laughs> it's not now when. I'm scared of heights, but I think we'll be good. Did you have a, a little nightmare last night? I had a nightmare about it after we went through all the gear that we were needing. We compiled all of our gear last night. And I Madison, cut my bed. <laughs> Madison's getting a little bit stressed out, but we're going to go do that. It should be a gorgeous morning outside today. So we are doing some, ooh, that's a big hot be careful. Decently <gasps> large. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you scared, Madison? I don't like opera. <laughs> you don't? No, I like comfort, smooth. You think we'll be okay? You won't find out how TJ's driving goes. Don't thought him out. Very safe right now. For real, answer my question. Don't film this. <laughs> I don't know if we could. Should I get out? No, we're good. Should I get out of the car? There's one over here. I actually liked off roading, Madison. I might just wait in the car. No, no, no. You got it, Madison. Madison, you can do this. I don't see anyone else out here doing this. It's no, early. that's why we're here early, so that no one else is here to like rush you and things like it's that. It's actually safer. I don't know. Come on. <laughs> no way. I don't know why I said I would do this. Hey, very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> so that is what we will be scaling on. Yes. I'm so proud of you, Madison. Are you? Yeah, I am. You're gonna do so good. Let's see how far we get. Oh, my little sister, you're gonna go all the way. So I am on filming duty today, so you will probably not see much of me, but we we're walking up this really slippery side right now and we are just about to the Ferrata and we are super stoked very excited for Madison very proud of her and uh, yeah this is beautiful so now we are walking the final ridge to the Ferrata I can't believe I'm doing this we're so proud of you <laughs> What are your thoughts? 
I don't know, this is a lot right now. You can do it. There's no clip coming up. There is a clip. I don't know about this. You got it. You got it. Okay, so update. There, we made it like, I don't even know how far. One, one wire. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've reached a point where there's no wires again. And I don't think that I could go no wires right now, this high on a narrow path. I mean. But up there it's narrower. And there's a lot of non-clipped in. So I think this is where I turn around and tap out. But I am shocked I'm even here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did great. I'm very proud of you. So we're gonna go bring Madison back down to the cards in the shade. It'll be all nice and cool for the whole time. Because you didn't remember that it wasn't. I, I forgot that it wasn't cables the whole way over there. Um, there's a lot of like, somewhat sketchy walking along the cliffs. And I am scared of heights. <laughs> so she's killing it right now because yeah. you're standing on the cliff. Yeah. But if it was wire, I would push myself farther. But without the wire, I think you did great. We're proud of you. Thanks, guys. Look at this stance. <laughs> 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 I'm looking at the view before I turn around and pretend I'm not looking at the view. <laughs> So we've lost a crew member, but I'm super proud of her. We're very proud of her. This is, this is intense, yeah. especially for someone who's like not into like climbing mountains or rock climbing. This is intense or, for a rock climber. It's intense. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's straight off the side of a cliff. And here we are, <laughs> unclipped in, standing on the side of a cliff. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna keep on going and get over to the fun part soon. Let the fun begin. Have fun. Thank you. We are up here. This beautiful view heads downtown Telluride behind us that way. <laughs> and one of the hardest parts of the whole Via Parada is for us, it's called the main event. And we are about to go around this corner over here and begin the main event. Lots of exposure. It is. You're like walking down wrong <laughs> like nothing below you. <laughs> so fun. Sorry, Dad. Hope I don't give you any nightmares. Woo! She is going first around the corner. Lots of exposure down. This is awesome. <laughs> That's the, there's a downward step over there. It's so far down. Woo Here comes Natalie. I'm honestly freaking the frick out right now. You're killing it. <laughs> that is so cool. I have never been scared of you before. I think I took on all of Madison's emotions. <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah, I'm honey! Right now. Yeah. I could cry right now. I might cry. You might cry? I'm so scared. You look so beautiful. Woo! Good job. I'm sweating. Letting <sighs> TJ go ahead first. He's climbing out onto the little area over here. It's my second favorite part of the whole route. You're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I thought- I forgot the drone. <laughs> you forgot the drone and you didn't tell me to this exact moment you forgot the drone. This is a great time to have an argument. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, just you enjoy. Right here. <laughs> Woo! I have not been up high in a while. This is terrifying. That's so bad. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> so we just came from up here on the route, and that is Bridal Veil Falls back over this way. And that's how much of a drop off we have. 
Do you want a little outfit change? Yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> Here I go. I do not have those same muscles as you do. Remember this being very hard for me in the past. A lot of muscle right I was there. a lot stronger in the past too, so you might have to like drag me up. Look at this. That's some serious That's moves. Okay. Yeah. That's some serious moves. Okay, don't leave me. Here we go. Oh man. Pressure. Like you never stopped climbing. That is not how it feels right now. Nice. Whew. Nice job. Thank you. Well, we think uh, we think we made it. Yeah, we still have a lot more of like the sketchy walking without the cords and clips to go, but I do think that is the end of like the rungs and the clips. high exposure. Yeah. So we're not going back the way we came, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to hitchhike back up the, the road. I might use her. I might be all hitchhike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, excuse me. Good looking girl. Please, Can I catch a ride? Please help me. <laughs> all right, that's a wrap. Finished. We finished. Now, now we need to go hike down, get back to the car somehow. I might be going for, I might be going for a very steep jog, but it'll be good for me. So we just did from over there, all the way across this into there. Oh, sorry, pointing too far. And then trek down. We're down here, and the plan <gasps> is, I'm gonna run all the way back up to the truck and try to. Uh, Get the truck. I'm gonna try to hitchhike. You have a lot better of an opportunity of hitchhiking than I do. <laughs> so that's our plan. Two fun things on our anniversary. <laughs> Damn, <crap. laughs> Happy anniversary. Thank Thank you. You. <laughs> Stout. I'm sure I couldn't believe how far you made it. I was sorry to assume that you <laughs> you uh, actually found a ride. So I was waiting down at the bottom. We're reunited. TJ one up. You made it very far. There was a car coming up and I basically forced my way into their car. They're like, ah, oh, there's not really room. And I'm like, I don't take up very much room. <laughs> I'll sit anywhere. And so finally they're like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess so. I hang on to the side of the car. Yeah, TJ, we saw him part of the way up, but they stopped. Hello. Hi. They stopped down at the uh, Bridal Vale Falls. And we're up just up here, I think. No, we got another two. Oh. A little bit further, a little further to go, and we're back in the car. Was, that was a big chunk. <laughs> that was helpful. So we are back in the car. We have made it. We made it. Back in the car after that whole treacherous walk. TJ did uphill in the car ride that we got from the random people <laughs> that I kind of forced my way into the car. Thank you to those people. Thank you very much. Um, and then we just got some food for ourselves and for our friends um, who are watching Camel right now as a little thank you. So we are hurrying up there. We are like two hours behind schedule. That's okay. Madison. I'm doing good. Doing good. Conquer some fears today. I'm very happy. I, uh, I think I did more than I thought and I tipped out at a good time. Yeah, it gets only scarier from there, so. I had enough fun doing it and it was like nerve wracking, but I think if I would have went farther, the nerves would have overtaken the joy of it. So I, I tapped out at a good time, came back to the car, cried because I was so happy and now. Oh, isn't that so cute? She cried, she was I so know. happy. Was I'm time. very, very proud of you, Madison. I am too. You, Thanks, went, you, went, you went far. Yeah. You went far enough. Woo, I was up there. <laughs> <laughs> So she did great, so we're gonna go pick up camo, have some lunch, and then continue on our little fun activities for today. After we picked up camo, we took him on his first ever gondola ride, which he loved. We got off at the top to enjoy the views and then headed down to Telluride to do some shopping and to explore the cute mountain town. On our way back to camp, we spotted a herd of elk that hang out near town and stopped to watch them for a while. Telluride is an incredibly beautiful town, and although it's time for our next stop, we know we will be back soon.